This was uh, brought to my attention by J.R. Jackson. So um, we're gonna jump into a video in one second. Uh, I wanna give a content advisory notice because there is a lot of harsh language, racial slurs still. That said, this is what we're this is what we're gonna do. So let's launch into this video. Nigger land. What? Hey, nigger. Let's go hang some niggers. He doesn't acknowledge what a nigger he is. Literally, as I said in the beginning, shoot the nigger. I hate niggers, that is all. By hating all the niggers. It's actually going to give you a short trial before we hang your nigger ass. It is called nigger head. I get a little of that lazy nigger. Where we just pick any nigger we liked and said, that's our boy. I want to know why you think you can coach these niggers. The old nigger in the yellow jersey. It's the niggers he doesn't like. Niggers. There's a nice yeah. retreat up there. I go, uh, the nigger head. It's awesome that it's called nigger head. You got to say it. Nigger Hill Cemetery. Nigger. And I apologize. I know these are like difficult words to hear, but words like nigger and fag. Nigger. You niggers are why I lost my job. He only shot a nigger. Run, nigger, run. Nigger. Nigger this or nigger that. Okay, so they're like, all right, all right, you cover that Jerry Rice looking nigger. Whatever, nigger head. N nigger. Nigger lake. He canceled his weekend at Niggerhead Ranch. His ranch was called Niggerhead. Fucking Jews and niggers. Nigger lover on it. Which is better, nigger or cracker? It was apparently called Niggerhead. Oh, you're a nigger? Doing fucking nothing and being a lazy nigger. They were nigger lovers. It don't give a nigger time to learn his lesson. White crackers. Yeah. Does that mean I can say black niggers? There will never be a nigger in SAE. Little niggers around town. But now this nigger wants to get married yes. to a white girl and I gotta do that cake for him. Saying the N word fully and proudly and across seemingly many years because there were so many different sets that were represented there. But that was all collected by Patriot Take on their Twitter account. We uh, just wanna throw this out as a bit of added context. People are taking a second look. So a bit of context, he has said that word a lot of times, Michael. Yeah, I mean, I, I saw this morning on Patriot Takes on their Twitter feed. Um, I The thing that struck me was how comfortable he is saying it. Uh, not, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, obviously the multiple instances, not that he was saying it with venom. It's a word that has venom implicit in it. It's the worst word. But he was so comfortable saying it, whereas it gives everybody pause hearing it, or I shouldn't say everybody, it gives uh, good thinking people pause just to hear it. He's so comfortable saying it, and it was really disturbing. It's really disturbing that so many people defend him. Yeah, I, look, I I understand. So some people were defending him even in that that thread saying, yeah, but they're leaving out the context. I mean, I, I like to think that I have an open mind and I can conceive of vast complex worlds of possibility. How much context could there exist to say the word that many times? I mean, right. I've thought back on my life, Michael, and I can definitely think of two instances where I have heard that word said, like just outright a white person saying it. In a bar in Austin, this guy said it to me while talking about the Yankees. It was one of the weirdest experiences of my life. And a guy I knew growing up, I remember once said it to me while playing a video game. And there's the random people on Xbox Live that they right. yell at you and all that. There's there's a bit of life context for it, you. It, no, no, it's crazy. And and the you know the most shocking thing about the story about the bar that you were in was that someone was actually talking to you about sports. That's I know. Crazy. Um, but, but I was already uncomfortable with the conversation I before the racial slurs dropped. That must have been like a double for you. Um, it was not but, but but yeah, no, that that's really that's just it. it. You know, it's not something that people say. It's not something people hear well, and it's inexcusable. Yeah. And by the way, I have no idea if he still does. I don't know. I believe I don't know how how recent it's been or anything like that. And I understand. By the way, I was talking with Jared before the show. What's that? Doesn't matter how recent it was. I mean, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just putting it yeah. out there to at, yeah. stupidly, naively to try to rebut some of what the instantaneous knee-jerk defenders will say. I understand that there was a debate that I think is over now about whether it was appropriate years ago to quote it. So if you were saying that someone was saying it, should you say it then? And I was always uncomfortable with that, yeah. but um. I do not believe that that is what is happening here. I'm just putting it out there. 
really, really, really ugly. People have lost lives and jobs for that, and he just goes on motoring right along. Jimmy the Greek Snyder, who was a, a, a tout on television and football, said things like that about you know when he realization once or twice, and he was off the air, and he was and that was 30, 40 years ago, and this guy can just get away with this this garbage every day. It's unbelievable. Yeah, and I have no doubt that us even just putting it out there and raising it as a topic to maybe think about, we will be hated far more <laughs> than him for this. So that's wow. the way that's the way the modern media environment works, regrettably. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.